Hey guys, what's up? It's Monster 903 here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some channel art for free. So this is going to be a pretty basic video. If you guys want me to make a more advanced video without having to use Photoshop, I'm going to be 100% down to do that. But this video, as I said before, it's going to be a pretty basic video. So you're going to learn how to do some pretty cool things, but it's not going to be like, uh, like pretty um in depth, I guess, uh, if I could say that. But before I get started, I just want to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, because I'm on my way to 7,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So the first thing that you want to do is Google Backgrounder, like this, B-A-C-K, then a G R O, basically Backgrounder, okay? And uh, you should, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the first link, panzoid.com. And you should see this website. So as I said before, this is going to be a pretty basic channel art kind of thing. But if you guys want, I can make a tutorial on Photoshop and a bit more like in-depth kind of tutorial for free. So um, let's get on with the video. So uh, the first thing, first things first is that you can either start from scratch. You can load up a save template. Say you're working on this website before and then you didn't have time so you could save it. Or you could uh, save your custom template that you already have so you can edit it on in the future. So for this, I'm just going to pick one of the templates that we have to uh, start off with. Um, let me quickly look around and see what I can find. Alright, so I decided to go by with the first one. All you have to do to pick yours is basically just click on it. As you can see, I clicked on that, and now I'm going to click back on here. I actually like this one. I feel like we can work with this, definitely. So the next thing that you want to do is go to basics. And now what's cool about this is you can actually change what you want to uh, actually like make. So you can make an avatar for YouTube, and it changes the dimensions perfectly, and it keeps the background. You can make a quick YouTube thumbnail if you wanted, a Twitter header, or actually a Twitter background. But uh, for this we're going to be using the YouTube one thing, and uh, if you're wondering what this background thing is, essentially, if you change it, if your wallpaper has like certain lines, this one it doesn't work the same way, but say there were these black lines they would essentially change red. But I'm just going to change this back to black, I, I, nothing really happened on this kind of background, but if you use a different background over here it would change. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and change the gradient color on the front. So I think I'm going to go with a, a kind of like a techy green if that makes sense. And then change it to fade to black. Alright guys, so as you can see that it does start off pretty bright over here and then it starts to fade out. And you can also change it however you want if you want it to come down like that. Or uh, kind of, kind of, sorry, come back sideways then you can do that. But uh, I actually liked it uh, in the radial gradient type. And you can also change uh, where you want it to like center at. If you want the thing to go to the center, then all you have to do is click on this. But if you click on this, you can actually change what side is essentially brighter. So if I want this side to be more brighter and that side to be darker, I can do it like that. So this is a pretty basic website as I said before. And yeah, you can move your text around, but I'm going to get onto that in a bit. So essentially, uh, as I said before, this is going to be a pretty basic website to use. It is great for when you're starting out on YouTube. And uh, it's not too much work, so I highly recommend checking it out if you want to start making a channel. So um, over here, this is going to be your second gradient. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the black lines that we have going in the back. Personally, I like them, but I'm just going to teach you guys how to change them really fast. So if we wanted to go with red, essentially we could just go ahead, change it to red, and then as you can see, the background does turn red. I feel like the only things that really go well with green are probably like green and yellow, you know, package colors and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. I don't really think it looks that nice over here, so I'm probably going to go back to black. And to be honest, I actually really do like this. Um, I'm not too sure, uh, okay, yeah, so this is cool about this specific uh, layout. You can actually change the thickness of the lines in case you don't like how thin they are or how small I'm actually, or how large. I'm actually going to make mine a bit, like, uh, thinner because I feel like at the end it's going to look way nicer. Um, I'm not too sure what this does, to be honest here, so I'm just going to, like, move that back. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do, so I highly recommend checking out the website and seeing what you like and, and what they have to offer and stuff like that. So over here what we have are overlays. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too familiar with how this works. I've been using the website for a few days just so I could get like a quick like uh, understanding of how it works and stuff for you guys. Because my friend actually used to use this back in the day and he used to make some pretty cool designs with it. But essentially overlays just puts like a kind of like a gradient thing around your um, banner. Uh, I really don't think it looks that nice when you actually have it up front, so I'm not going to use it, but you should definitely experiment with it and maybe you'll like something that they have to offer. So here I'm going to be teaching you guys about sprites. So essentially a sprite is an object that's on the screen that you can move to basically put it into simpler terms. So this text right here, this is called a sprite. So on the website, uh, you always start out with one sprite, and it could be multiple sprites too, it depends on the template you use, but you can essentially change the text that you have. And then uh, once you do that, you can just click off of it, and as you guys can see that I do have my YouTube username here now. 
And uh, honestly, it does seem like it's pretty simple as I said before, but this website can do some pretty cool things that not many other uh, free like template things actually can do. So I'm going to experiment with this for a bit and then I'm going to get back to you guys when I like find something I like. Okay guys, so I went with the gray kind of theme on my uh, logo or whatever. Well, it's not really a logo, just my text. But essentially what you do to add more text is just click on this little text button right here and as you can see a new sprite pops up. Sorry, I just clicked on my current one because that's the one that's selected so I have to just click here and I can go ahead and drag it around. So over here I'm just going to do like tech videos and uh, more. Uh, tip that wrong, but essentially once I do that I can go ahead and change the font and look around for something that I like Um, there's I think I'm just gonna go with the simple impact thing or actually I'm gonna quickly look around and see what I like and I'll go back to you guys in a few seconds All right guys, so essentially I added these two new sprites and uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to customize them a bit more to your liking So essentially right now there's not really much on this first sprite besides like a drop shadow so I'm going to teach you guys how to actually add a uh, like a text border. So as you can see, uh, mine already has one on, but all you have to do is go ahead and click on on, and then you can actually change the color of the border. I highly recommend making it black. Black usually tends to look nicer, and it makes it more it makes it pop out more. And then all you have to actually do is bump the thickness a bit, and as you can see, it makes it look like uh, it's popping out essentially. But I feel like five is a bit too much on this, so I'm going to go back down to three. And I actually did the same thing on the second sprite, uh, I believe I did at, le at least. So uh, as you can see, text border is on, but the thickness wasn't too much. I feel like since it's a smaller text, or since I lowered the font size over here, uh, I don't really think a good uh, amount of thickness is actually going to look nice. So I'm just going to leave it how it is, and then I'm going to teach you guys how to actually add pictures and stuff onto your, uh, uh, onto your uh, channel banner. So what you want to do to add pictures is actually go ahead and click on this button, and then um, it's going to actually open up. Uh, actually, once you click on this button, it's going to add a new sprite, and from here you can select the picture you want. So I'm going to quickly go click on this button and then go find a picture I want in my desktop, and then I'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, so essentially I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these thumbnails that I had recently. This is actually a video I made. I'll, I might as well just put the link in the description for this video, but it's basically a Town Hall 8 hybrid base for Clash of Clans, and I had the uh, thumbnail still saved on my computer. So essentially to actually make it smaller, you have to change the scale. And you always want the scale numbers to be the same. Right now it's one by one, so it means it's the actual picture size. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to like 0.7 and then uh, change this to 0.72 and we can see how that looks. But as you can see, it's still pretty big. So I think we're gonna have to go with 0.3 on this and then 0.3 over here too. And that looks pretty neat. But uh, I feel like it's still too big. I feel like we could fit two in. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that one more time to 0.2 and then 0.2. And there you go, it does look way nicer now. So again, what I told you guys before is you can actually add a border onto your image by clicking on image border and then click on on. You can do the same thing with your text as I showed you guys before. And honestly, just go ahead and bump up that thickness about to three. If you're doing something like this, you can obviously add your logo, add other text, add pictures and all that good stuff. But essentially, I'm just gonna go with like something basic. And I feel like if I add a few thumbnails on here, it would be nice to show the viewer what kind of things they could expect on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and add about, I'll probably just add four thumbnails right here and then I'll get back to you guys in a second. Alright guys, so I feel like I'm done with my uh, new channel banner I guess. Obviously I'm not going to be using this one, I really do prefer mine over this one. But I kind of just showed you guys how to use a site and stuff like this. This is a great site, I highly recommend using it when you're starting out on YouTube and you don't have the money to afford things like Photoshop and stuff like that. I did make a video on how to get Photoshop for free, it is going to be in the description below, I highly recommend you guys go check that out because Photoshop is a fantastic program and it's going to really help you guys out if you want to start something on YouTube. But essentially, this is uh, kind of what you can do on the Panzoid website. You can obviously do many more things, but I feel like this looks pretty neat. I have four thumbnails that can show the viewer what kind of content I actually make on my channel. And if they like the kind of stuff I make, they can go ahead and hit subscribe. You always want your channel, like, uh, channel art to look appealing to the audience. And then if they like it, obviously they're going to want to see more kind of content from you. So this really wraps up the video, um, I'm going to quickly go ahead and download my, th uh, my uh, channel art really quick and I, I might as well just go ahead and put it on my second channel and then I'll show you guys what it looks like over there. And uh, as you guys can see I just did add it to like one of my channels, I have, I have like three channels, it's like the, uh, like the Google Plus channel you get whenever you actually make your main channel. So honestly it doesn't look that bad, I do regret making my text grey. But I really feel like the thumbnail stuff really looks great because it's perfect. I mean, actually, now that's going to bother me because it's not that perfect over there. But essentially, this is what you can do with the Panzoid website. I highly recommend checking it out. It's going to be awesome if you want to get started on YouTube. 
It essentially helps you make channel art for free without having to pay for anything. Again, if you want me to make a more in-depth video on how to make channel art for free, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and uh, I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.